Uh, I thought it started Friday night with the Hopkins match. We played really, really well uh, against McDaniel. We played very clean, hit around 300. Again, the kills were evenly distributed amongst all the players. Uh, we're playing great defense, and we're just playing solid, clean volleyball. When I say clean, Joe, it's just we just don't make many errors. And, uh, and we move the ball around so they can't sit on any particular hitter. Right, exactly. And today, Riley had a phenomenal day. She had 500 in both uh, sets or matches, and I believe that she had double-digit kills in both, uh, making very few errors. And to tell you the truth, a lot of times it's our passing, putting, putting us into system, our middle's working really hard so it looks like they're getting the ball and holds that middle blocker just for the split second, and then they go, and the ball goes outside to Riley, and if, if it's there, she's going to put it down. Well, Kayla Vaith at Lebaro, you know, she's really the backbone of our defense, and she's a fantastic digger and a really, really good passer. And you know, today, Shannon uh, Bailey had some issues with passing in that third match, but by the end, they weren't serving her anymore because she recovered because she's very mentally tough, and things like that just don't bother her. She just gets mad instead of, uh, instead of timid. And uh, she, so she recovered from that, and uh, we went on our merry way after that. Second set was huge to win that when we were you know, pretty far down. Well, uh, the, sen these, the senior year could take an additional year, so they had that really tough COVID year in there. So I'm just so happy how well they're playing. They're all playing. Uh, and play integral roles and I just think the reason one of the reasons why our freshmen are doing so well is because they don't have to carry the load uh, that's that's huge they don't have to play great for us to win they just have to do their job our seniors are carrying uh, are carrying the load and that's what needs to happen for us to win